When the phase line, uh, let me know when you have it. Or shoot. Light them all up. Come on, fire. Hey, Roger. Your Honor, I wrote this statement in the confinement facility. I enlisted with the hope of obtaining both real-world experience and earning benefits under the GI Bill for college opportunities. I believed and still believe that these are some of the most significant documents of our time. I felt that we were risking so much for people that seemed unwilling to cooperate with us leading to frustration and anger on both sides. I began to become depressed with the situation we find ourselves in, increasingly mired year after year. I believe that if the general public, especially the American public, had access to the information, this could spark a domestic debate on the role of the military and foreign policy in general as it related to Iraq and Afghanistan. I wanted the American public to know that not everyone in Iraq and Afghanistan are targets that needed to be neutralized, but rather people who are struggling to live in the pressure cooker environment of what we call asymmetric warfare. No one associated with the WikiLeaks organization pressured me into giving information. The decisions that I made to send documents and information to the WikiLeaks organization were my own decisions, and I take full responsibility for my actions. All right. Thank you for that responsibility. Bradley Manning was an Army PFC in intelligence, and he saw some things in Iraq that appalled him, and he sent some pieces of video to WikiLeaks and uh, the government did not much like it, hence they arrested him. I do admire him so. Uh, his intent was not treason, his intent was not traitorous, his intent was just to show some of the horrors that this administration has been perpetuating and uh, they're trying to classify him as all kinds of uh, he is not uh, is not uh, he just wanted us to know some of the truth since july 3rd bradley has been on trial for his life really in espionage charges that the u.s has placed against him of aiding the enemy for giving information 2010 in 2010 so this has been um, one lie after another from the government, making or attempting to make the case that Bradley was working for WikiLeaks in the military, trying to get certain information at their request, which they can could then post on the internet and it would be available to the enemy, which includes um, Al Qaeda in their listings. But in fact means that any journalist posting anything on the internet or anywhere else under the arguments of the U.S. government could be charged with aiding the enemy. So we heard yesterday, finally, the defense wrap all this up and show what motivated Bradley Manning in the three years, more than three years ago, the whole time during which he's been in prison, a lot of that time tortured and, and kept in solitary confinement, that what motivated Bradley was concern for humanity, that when he saw things the U.S. was doing that he had access to see because he was an intelligence analyst in Baghdad for the U.S. military. He was so thought people, he thought people, the public especially, people in this country should know about it. And David Coombs walked through the famous collateral murder video that is of an Apache helicopter attack in 2007 in Baghdad 
which killed 12 Iraqi civilians, including two journalists working for Reuters in the U.S. And it was that that, that actually the government went after very hard, saying that this amounted to a propaganda video for the enemy to use. And we have to ask, out of all this, it took Bradley Manning risking his life and his freedom because he could have been charged um, with something that carries the death penalty. The government could be trying to literally kill him. Today, Today. we're on private property. Private. It belongs to someone at Times Square who made a lot of money and bought a little square where there should be free speech. But apparently there's not. We can stand on the street. Or we can stand our ground. Like Bradley Man. Is 35 years too much? Way too much. What should happen to Bradley Manning? Release Bradley Manning. Release him right now. We do know that people are gathering in 17 cities today, which only came together in the last two days. And this is very, very important. Bradley is in danger. Edward Snow is in danger. Journalism is in danger. Everybody who cares about humanity needs to jump in and be involved in this struggle. So again we say free Bradley Manning. This guy is 25 years old. He's made a huge contribution to the humanity in the world. And it's up to us to free him. It's up to us to free him. I want everybody to get a copy of Collateral Murder. And the rest of this month in August, show it. You can get a free DVD from World Can't Wait. And you can find a place to show it and lead a discussion. Get it on the air. Get it on cable. This is really what Bradley's gone to prison for. Until I went to the trial, I did not understand how much the U.S. hated the fact that their own film was leaked to the public. They called it propaganda. Unbelievable. It's their own film. We didn't edit it. We didn't have to change it. We just had to show what they did. This is completely outrageous. It comes in waves how unjust this is and what they've done to Bradley. Let's spread these flyers around. Speak up. Hi. Just a few Mike words. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Hi, I'm from Peace Action Staten Island. And Peace Action New York State. Just, just a few words. The sentence for Bradley Manning is draconian. 35 years for telling the truth. 35 years for telling the truth to the American people. To the American people. They got him on charges of spying. He spied for nobody. All he did was show war crimes. All he did was show war crimes. And show the American people. So the American people that we have a government that operates in secret, a government that tortures, a government that tortures, like David Petraeus, who has a new job at CUNY, like Bob Gates, who is Obama's defense secretary.
anything for war crimes. No matter who does them. No who does them. People will, these people will ever be free. There is Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. Has been the seventh person. That's the seventh person. To be indicted under the Espionage Act. To be indicted under the Espionage Act. You know Snowden. Who has made recent revelations? Who has made recent revelations about mass surveillance? A mass surveillance states, not the United States, not just in the United States, all over the world, but all over the world. We've been living with the longest U.S. wars. Living with the longest U.S. wars. In the military occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan. And the military occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. Wars are being financed, and, and these wars are being financed. Dollars. And without your consent, and, and without your consent, it's say no. It's it's to say no. And all wars, and all occupations, and do not smile at surveillance the way that sign tells you to. The way that sign tells you to do. He's a hero. He's a man of consciousness. I would have to say that Bradley Bailey has been railroaded by a government who is guilty of an enormous number of war crimes for which they are not on. A constitution that was given first nation by the First Nations who came here two weeks ago, three weeks ago, to remind us that constitutional democracy was a gift from them. And everybody, support the indigenous peoples that gave us this constitution. On September 17th, it is the 220... No, no, no. <laughs> On September 17th. September 17th. It is the 200 anniversary anniversary of the first treaty between the United States the first treaty between the United States and the Lenape people the first nations of this land the first nation of this land it is the 225th, 6th anniversary, 6th anniversary, 226th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Constitution. Of the U.S. Constitution. The Constitution, guys. It is the nine-year anniversary of the of the first release of Lennox. The first release. The first release. Woo! It's what makes Apple run. Oh, fuck Apple. Eat it, Apple. Oh, yeah, look at my phone. Fuck Apple. See that? It is also the five-year anniversary of the crash. It is also the two-year anniversary of Occupy. Holla! We all... Bring your friends, brothers, bring your brothers, bring your sisters, bring your costumes, and come here at 2 o'clock. September 17th. September 17th. September 17th. Be here, be here, September 17th.
convening authority. He's the general, general convening authority. authority. And he has the ability, the ability to nullify all of the sentences of Manning. To, to nullify all the sentences of Manning. This event here in New York City. This event here in New York City is one of three dozen events. It's one of three dozen events worldwide. Worldwide. We're going to march down to Columbus Circle. We're going to march down to Columbus Circle to join other Bradley Manning supporters. To join other Bradley Manning supporters. For you to join us. For you to join us. We would love for you to join us under this banner. Under this banner. Free Bradley Manning. 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 I'm very sensitive to what's happening to Bradley Manning. He is an American hero. America should be built on the foundations of truth. What Bra Bradley Manning's actions reflect truth. He should not be tortured by the American government for telling the truth. I love America. And I love anyone who will represent honesty and decency. And Bradley Manning did that when he exposed American war crimes. I wanted to contrast Bradley Manning, whistleblower, who took a courageous leap and nation to WikiLeaks and to WikiLeaks in order to put it in front of the world. This was information about U.S. war crimes that included the treatment of detainees, the torture of people, the killing of civilians, the systematic abuse of civilians, the destruction of a whole society, and the dirty dealing of the U.S. with other countries. Want to contrast him? Be contrast him being sentenced today to 35 years in military prison, to what's happened to other so-called criminals who really were criminals, who sat at the top of the Bush regime, who led, who legally justified, and then who carried out war crimes. How many of them sitting in universities of universities and war profiteers and private contractors and still in government were prosecuted and put in prison? Exactly zero. How many of the lower level soldiers who carried out the murder and abuse and torture of civilians and prisoners in Iraq and Afghanistan have received anything like Manning received, Bradley Manning received? None of them. Ten years at the most for killing Iraqi civilians. And this is what stands for what this country is putting out to the world today. Whistleblowers have to fear a huge amount of time in prison. And people who commit war crimes go free. That's all I have. Angry. I'm angry.